Oh, it's, it's, okay. Hi, Floss 2. I'm Lori Shikalone, and welcome to Once Upon a Stitch. I am trying something new. I'm taping on my laptop to see if it gives me a little bit more uh, time in taping instead of having part one, part two, part three. Um, today is June 1st, uh, 2018, and welcome to my channel. I'm looking all over because I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to look. Um, it's just a little different for me, but okay, we're going to do our best. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for make, leaving comments. I uh, enjoy answering them. Sometimes I don't see them right away because some comments I get a, a message on my phone that says so and so commented. And when I go in to respond, I see I might have another two or three there. I, I don't know why I get messages that somebody comment and then yet I won't get a message that somebody else comment. So if I haven't responded to you, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't get the a beat that there was something there. I, you know, it's now that I'm making more videos, it's a lot to go back all the way back. But if I do get a beep, I always check to see if there's um, any others that I might have missed. So let's get started. May's been busy. It's been exciting. Uh, this month we celebrated my great niece's first Holy Communion. We attended that in White Plains, New York. Then I attended uh, the New Jersey retreat, which I spoke to you about in previous video. Um, and then it was, um, and Mother's Day was in the middle of that, and plus my son's birthday. So we celebrated that this past uh, Sunday, no, Monday, Monday of Memorial Day, because uh, it was actually right before retreat, and that weekend I was away, so we decided to celebrate it this past Monday. And uh, we invited his wife, Rebecca's parents, to join us, as well as my son and his girlfriend, Amy. Um, okay, let's get to it. Um, here's my new logo, Once Upon a Stitch by Lori S. Um, a friend made it for me. Her name is Rachel Toporek. I will, um, this is her Topo uh, Designs. Let's see, there you go. I will link her Gmail account. Um, I don't know if she has any other way of getting in touch with her. She does, I tell her what I wanted, um, and uh, she basically sent me a couple of pictures to look at with different fonts, and I chose the one that I wanted. Okay, let's get started. Um, we'll start it with um, FFOs, totally finished projects. Uh, the last time during Stitch Mania, I showed you the finishes that I had, but I hadn't fully finished them. Now I did. This one is Santa Nose by Lizzie Kate. The next one is, as you can hear, Jingle Jingle, uh, also Lizzie Kate. It's a cloudy day here, so I have my over light, um, light on as well as my at light because if I shut the at light, the window light from the back makes this too dark. So um, hopefully um, it's working at your end. Um, I showed you, I think I showed you my June pillow stitch, but I FFO'd it. Um, I couldn't find a tiny dragonfly that came with the original pillow because I made that one for my daughter-in-law. But I found, if, if you look real close, it's a little bird cut out in a button or a charm. I found that at AC Moore. I know some places don't have AC Moore, but it's some, very similar to Michael's. Um, sometimes I can't find something in Hobby Lobby, Joann's, uh, Michael's, so I go to AC Moore. And um, in one of those stores, I usually luck out. And then this is my July pillow that I finished. I fin gave her hers, um, and this one is mine, uh, Lizzie Kate. Uh, maybe, yeah, okay. Then I finished the, my last cottage of Country Cottage, June Cottage. And those are a lot of strawberries, um, and there were a few ladybugs. Um, the ladybugs, let's see, flying up here by June, and then one is on, oops, this way, on this little bush right there. <laughs> so I, just, I found some ladybug ribbon and fabric at Joann's, and I decided to finish that. So today I will go hang it, here's the sleeve that I make, and I'll go hang it on my uh, 
little stand that I have down downstairs that I have all my um, monthly display. Okay, then I had two finishes. Um, one was the Lizzie Kate Buzzy String. There, that's about the best I can do. And um, I, I stitched it on, let's see, is it showing up? Yeah. 16 count doubloon Ada. And then the second finish I had was a Country Cottage, um, Bless Our Home. Oops. Bless Our Home. Um, a lot of people have been stitching it. Um, the peanut bread riddle that it called for wasn't as variegated as it shows in this picture. I used it, but um, I wasn't thrilled with it. And I guess that's my inexperience of looking for different color threads to put in. Um, I know Priscilla and uh, Priscilla did it and she said she used stepping stone and I went to my LNS three or four times looking for it and they never had it and I have a few other um, threads back ordered but I really wanted to get this done because my son and Michael and Rebecca are buying a house. It's their first home and um, they may be closing on it next week. And I finished stitching it just last night. Uh, I used old blue jeans for the hat. Sorry, that's the back. <laughs> uh, there we go. Um, I used old blue jeans on the house. I did use the um, peanut brittle for the roof. But I changed out the um, the browns in here. The uh, flagpole I did in DMC 801, and the tree I did in Brandy Pears. Um, I believe that was Classic Color Works Brandy Pears. Um, the flowers is like a, um, it's like a corally, dark coral or pink. And it called for that to put that in the flag, but I didn't want to. I wanted to make it redder, so I used DMC 321. So that is my um, two finishes. So I have to get the Bless Our House um, one frame pretty soon. But I mean, they're gonna move in, they're gonna paint first and everything. So I have a little bit of time, but I do like to um, see if I can get that done. Then I have, um, I have a few whips, but the ones that I'm working on recently was the chair with the bird. Now I've added some of the beads in her hair around her, the flowers. I, and I just, that's all I have left. I did the outline. I finished, this was the last corner that I needed to complete. So now it's just a matter of beading around her flowers in her hair and in her dress and then uh, framing that one. The other one that I worked on during Mania and then afterwards was um, Woolard and Kringle and Woolard. And I had uh, did most of Santa and Woolard's head. And now I just finished Woolard and I added a tree. Um, it called for shabby sheep for the hat, the white in the hat, and the white on the bottom here, and uh, it's on back order. I haven't gotten it, so I'm kind of like putting it on hold temporarily um, until the threads come in. There was another one, oh, cinnamon, cinnamon toast for his face. Um, and I, like I said, I'm not experienced enough to say, well, that cinnamon toast is very similar to this because I have no idea, um, and I don't want to make a wrong, a mistake in a, in a color of a face of too light or, and then having to pull it out. So they're ordered. It's a matter of coming in. And the other one that I've worked on and I have to put away a for a while is the Sampler House by Bren um, Plymouth Sampler by Brenda Keys. And the reason I have to is because I have the Heritage Sampler that I haven't touched in a while. So here's how, how far I've gotten in um, Plymouth Sampler. 
I love the colors in this one. Oh, love it. But I guess I have to put it aside for a while. I have my notes here because I really don't want to forget anything. Um, alrighty, moving along to some of the purchases that I've made. Um, during retreat, I purchased Shakespeare's Peddler, Jenny Bean and Friends. I saw this in the shop and they had it stitched up. And the, the, of course, like they say, the picture doesn't do it justice. It was gorgeous. So um, Jimmy dyed some fabric for me for this piece. And um, I, have, I have all but, I think, two threads. Um, so that's in on the back burner, but not too far back. Then I bought from um, Needleworkers Delight, Mani di Donna. Um, hands of the lady or ladies hands um, and these are the four pillows what really ex uh, got me excited was the winter one of the uh, cardinal and they had the samples there as well so I really thought they were beautiful so I'll be working on that then I bought a Lila studio I have uh, the spring of this this was one of the spring patterns that I had bought um, as one as a possibility of doing the smalls exchange for the retreat I ended up picking a Lizzie key because I was afraid this might be too big um, because I don't work on small count fabrics so um, I didn't do the spring one but I bought the summer one because I thought it was so pretty I might do this one before I do spring and in buying that I received um, Dinah's Garden Strawberry from Lila Studios. Um, they didn't like the way it printed, so they were um, giving the pattern, can't show you the pattern, but they, they were giving this with a purchase of theirs. Sorry. Then I bought from Puntini Puntini, which means um, tiny stitches, Welcome Summer, which looks like beach cabanas. Let's see. No. Is that better? Maybe not. And it comes with buttons. Let's see, there are the buttons. It has a birdhouse, a shell, and Welcome Summer. And then I also bought um, Welcome Spring, Little Spring Cottage. And the buttons are, I haven't, oh, a bunny. It's a bunny, that tiny one. I don't know if it could focus on this one. The tiny bunny, birdhouse, and welcome spring. Oh, did I say summer? Oh, I guess this was summer. Oops, I'm in the light. This one was summer, the uh, cabana one. That says welcome summer. And this was a welcome spring. Um, those were my purchases and then at retreat these were some of the patterns that I was able to pick up from the um, free table one was a Lizzie Kate why yes I can drive a stick and the funny part about this is um, from when we were dating my husband drove a stick and um, I tried learning but I was at the type that when I'm learning something I get nervous and I laugh. So he's trying to teach me, I'm laughing, he's getting angry, and I'm laughing more. So, <laughs> needless to say, uh, I did not learn how to drive a stick. And I don't think, I, I don't think I would enjoy it. I honestly don't. I like the idea of just holding the wheel, pushing the pedal, and going, rather than worrying about shifting. Mm -mm, can't do it plus I refuse to do it but I can drive one of these sticks so uh, the other one was wine a bit you'll feel better I saw this done at uh, Needleworkers Delight somebody had um, stitched this up and framed it and on the frame it was really awesome he had uh, sliced the corks from wine bottles 
um, all different types of wine bottles. Um, some might have had um, band names on it, depending if they had a wine, a special wine at a certain time. Anyway, he had these wine corks. He sliced them and he glued them all the way around the frame. And I thought that was so ingenious. Um, and my husband loves wine. So, uh, so I thought I'd pick that one up. This is a Ben Creek Summer Row. Um, that's really cute. Sandcastles and the seagull flags, crab, and a sandcastle. And then I, I found this one. I love this one. Prairie Schooler, July. I think Pam uh, just showed this one recently done. Um, and I came upstairs and I, I looked through what I had picked up on the table and it, it's the same one. So I, I love it. And then the last one I'll show you now is Doodle Do. I thought this is so cute. Um, a ro rooster, I guess. Uh, and it says Doodle Do. Really cute. I thought that would be nice in the kitchen. I was watching uh, Pam and Steph, and they were showing in their last video, and they were showing uh, from Just Keep Stitching, and they were showing some previous finishes that Pam had um, stitched up, and there were a few really small pieces, and they kept talking about Heather Moore's finish. Her latest uh, video shows a tutorial on a cube finish. So I went over to Heather Moore, and I started watching that tutorial, and it was and it, you know, she mentioned that she saw Carolyn Mazio do it, and I had seen that over a year ago, the same video. Um, seeing Heather do it now showed, like, it's not that difficult. I, you know, I might be able to do it. So she told us where she bought her cube. Here's the cube. It was at uh, the dollar store. Dollar? Dollar store. Yeah. Um, so I found it as a dollar, and I bought a couple of them. And then I came home and I started looking at my patterns to see what I can finish that was patriotic that would fit on this because this is only four by four. Four by four. And not too many things fit four by four of what I stitch or what I own. So, um, yeah. So I have to do some investigating, maybe go to uh, Needleworkers Delight and um, see what patterns I can buy that will um, accommodate this cube. I do that a lot. I buy things and then I kind of have to figure out how I'm going to do everything. But that's kind of the fun of it. I also uh, watched um, Vanna's tutorial on the late last finish that she did. Um, so that, that my juice is going of wanting to finish things. But they were either a flat bold or the cube. And right now I don't have anything to put on those things. So um, now I have to figure out where I'm going to go now that I finish those two. I do have to, should pick up, not that I, not that I should pick up the heritage sampler um, and put some time into that because I haven't. Uh, it's right here. I'll show you how far I've gotten. I have some threads, hickory sticks actually, that were on it. Um, yeah, I didn't get too far on this. So, um, but I, I enjoyed working on it. And um, so I think I'll be doing videos maybe every other week so that I can get some stitching done because I like to stitch on something for a number of days. And if, if I do it every week, you'll only see maybe two things. So this way, um, it'll give me time to maybe finish something, and it'll give me time to stitch on maybe three or four different things, and I'll have something to show you all the time. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you give me a thumbs up. I hope you subscribe, and I hope you come back. So take care. Talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, I gotta use my mouse. It's not a touch screen. Bye. <laughs>